Hello everyone and welcome back. It's your buddy Isaac and I've got Dustin aka the Lynch with us. Trey may be along shortly enough, but we're here to take a look at the new stuff that they put in. So Optical Purge is a subscriber to us. They sent this game in to us. We played it before with Trey and we discussed a few things that could change. And since then, they've actually changed some things. They even emailed me about some of the changes. Although, that was not there before. <laughs> I'm amazed it didn't glitch for like a few seconds. Yeah. Falling down. But yeah, this game is still in early access, if you guys are wondering. Uh, if you want to support the game, there will be a link down below in the description. Okay, yeah, they've added some uh, creepy-ass sound effects. I don't remember that being here. Um, but hey, if Optical Purge ever wa is, watches this video, which I'm sure they will, uh, if you're interested, our buddy Trey actually does voice acting. I'm sure he can make some pretty convincing demonic voices. Wow, they've made some interesting ones now. Okay. They actually look like demons now. Yeah. Um, what they I don't think they have done it yet, but they are actually gonna incorporate loading screens. Yeah, they haven't done that quite yet. So it still looks a little bit like it freezes, but what it's actually doing is it's loading. And look! It is dark. Now they actually tell you what you're supposed to do. Yeah, it looks a lot creepier now. Now that it's not bright pink. Yeah. Got that chair looks and it, fleshy. Yeah, and it actually does, like I said, it highlights the fire when it comes up, so... And they've added some arches, too, to kind of show you around with the fog it looks really good I would say actually something I would change is make the fog a little more dense yeah But it is, it is very, sm it's a lot spookier now than it did. Sprint faster too. Slightly faster. Yeah. Meow. I hear the yowls of the kitty. Yep. Um, they're actually going to add to, I believe, some defensive abilities. And I think they're adding a couple more things. Yeah, now the Hellhound looks a lot more menacing now it's freaking dark out here. <laughs> no, it's still, uh... It's still bunny hopping, which... Is okay. Yeah. Oh! Oh! That was the best thing. You didn't have to ram your face into it. And it didn't blind you as you got close to it. Nope, getting away from you.
Ooh, and this seems to be like a new area we're coming up on here. Looks like there is another hellhound up ahead. No! Actually, I think... Oh yeah, this is the heart. Oh yeah, that 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 is a lot more spooky now. <laughs> yeah. Oh hell no! <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> Where's my sage and salt? Oh wait. You're in hell. You don't get that luxury. It looks like they actually did add in some more monsters, too. Yeah. Well, the, it doesn't look like it's, you know, the same repeating place either, you're seeing. Yeah. Well, that's a lot more flesh down than what, what it was. What it was, yeah. Now I think that's goat's eyes now instead of human. Definitely, you can tell a lot more that there's chains holding it. Mm hmm. And I'm assuming it's supposed to be Satan there. Free him. There's our soul. Like I believe it's Moonpie going, Pay attention to me, human. At least they're ignoring. Oh no! I was about to say, at least they're ignoring us yeah. and chasing the other guy. And then, the, and then that demon just turned around and said, "What did you just say?" <laughs> Hello there. Yeah, and you can really, because of the darkness, uh, you can actually kind of... It kind of draws your eyes over to these kind of areas. So you kind of want to go over and explore a bit. That is a big head. This is a big on fire head. Yes, they actually give you an overhead map. 
It's kind of cool. And now I'm kind of lost. Oh, hello there, spooky heads. I remember you. If I'm gonna be honest, I almost kind of wish we knew a little bit more about the main character itself. Yeah. Or herself, because I understand the whole principle is that her sin sent her to hell. But if I'm being 100% honest, just simply as a pagan myself, and someone who's actually studied multiple religions and stuff like that, even multiple sects of Christianity, um, there are actually different types of sin, and there's also different variations of what is considered to be sinful. Hey, look, soul. Mm-hmm. Next to this small bonfire. Yeah! <laughs> and there's a demon. And hell honed, yeah. Because, uh, like, multiple religions have different versions of their hell. Um, Japan, for example, has... In Shinto, their, their hell is, has things like a giant field of needles. Yeah. <laughs> But their concept of sin, too, is a bit different from, like, Christianity as well. Because for them, some stuff that Christians would consider sinful isn't actually considered sinful. For them, more it's more along the lines of associating oneself with, like, negative aspects of life, like death and stuff like that but then again I am assuming that this is most likely a Christian version of that of hell so the only reason why I bring it up is knowing a bit about the character actually would give us a bit more of a reason to kind of slightly care a bit more about the character itself. I'm not saying that it's not kind of fun dodging demons in here, but... I mean, at this point, it almost feels like you should be rooting for the demons. It's not even that. It's literally you're sitting there going, okay, what exactly did this person do? Because, I mean, I'm not trying to inf offend any Christians or anything like that. But, I mean, if you look at some sects of Christianity, some of the sins that would technically land you in hell aren't even really major things. It could be anything from telling a simple lie to... You know, just... <laughs> eating. You know, doing something to survive. Well, not even that. Eating in excess which, I mean, is gluttony. There's also...
Um, but my brain is not working. <laughs> And like I said, the reason why I bring it up is it actually helps us connect with the character. Which then makes us want to try and gather the soul pieces. Especially considering from the email that Optical Purge actually sent me, their goal here is to try and teach people that their actions have consequences. But there's no consequence, so... We can assume anything. Well, there's no... There's nothing on the actions of the character as to why she's even here. I mean... Could be anything uh, from running afoul of... Any number of witches or... You know... Trying to practice satanic worship, anything really. Although, I can actually kind of appreciate the fact that they're trying to get, uh, get the gameplay down first before they actually start integrating more of the story. Because right now, because they are self-taught, so, you know, they're probably still trying to get the basics of everything going before they really start trying to put in, like, a, uh, uber fantastic story kind of thing. Which I can kind of respect that. Now I'm completely lost, I think. Yeah, I have no idea where we're at. Anymore. Trees! That's where we're at. <laughs> So once they get the main, like, the main gameplay down, the story is definitely going to be the next thing they're really going to work on, because the story is really going to be what's going to drive uh, replayability in terms of people playing the game over and over again. Yeah. In a game that can be replayed over and over again and still be fun is going to have a longer lifespan than one that doesn't. Um... They're actually going to add some new planets and some new zones in soon enough. But like I said, this game is still in early access, so it's still being made, technically. So this is more of like a beta test or a... Alpha, essentially. So eventually we're actually going to end up looking quite a bit different from the character we have now. 
Um, apparently there's also going to be new abilities, like once we get into heaven level, we're going to be able to actually fly around and do all kinds of stuff. Once they actually get finished with that. So. I still feel like we're really, really. Really low, but yeah. I think it could be simply because. It's the, big. Yeah, like it's huge. I just feel like we're on the ground crawling. Yeah. Now let's see. Has the glitch been fixed? I don't think it's so much as a glitch as it's just that there's nothing there yet. I think these other two doors are supposed to actually lead to new areas eventually. But for now, they basically just lead to the end of the, the game world, I think. Yeah. We. Yeah. So yes, we're gonna keep jumping off of this thing as long as there is the opportunity. <laughs> See, now all you have to do is attach the bottom half like a ship and put engines on it, and you got a Warhammer 40k boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait. Nope, no, we are still falling. Yep. I was about to say, uh... I mean, we're gonna just keep falling. There's no ground here. We're going to fall infinitely. See, this is hell. <laughs> Whee! But thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay safe out there, and... Uh, if you haven't, subscribe, leave a like, and comment to let us know what you thought of the video. Uh, like I said, we're going to put the description of the game. We're going to put the link to the Steam Store page for this game in the description below like we did the last video. And we'll see you all next time.